So once again, I find myself out in the desert, up in the mountains, doing some hiking to some abandoned mines and unusual places. And check out this landscape. It's pretty uh, drab, not a lot of color, mostly different shades of brown and tan and olive green. And uh, But this old mining road I'm hiking up, I noticed right here in front of me, there's a spot of color up there right in the center of the roadway. Check that out. Those are some desert wildflowers that are blooming right now and they add a bright spot of red color to this otherwise colorless landscape. Wow! That is one tame butterfly. That's amazing. Now it's on my other shoe. Must be attracted to the red laces, maybe. Isn't that funny? Wow. So I'm taking a little break here alongside the road. I found a spot of shade, uh, probably the only spot of shade I've seen. So the road's right here in front of me, continues up this way to my right, makes a bend and goes up that way. It makes a bend to the right and another switch back and you can't see it from here, but it goes over the top of the ridge. There's a saddle up there that it crosses over. And the mines are on the other side, so that's where we're headed. But here's a shot looking across the valley from my vantage point where I'm taking a break. And uh, mountains in the foreground, and then the valley, and then the mountains in the background. Pretty spectacular. That is a steep, deep, rugged canyon. Looking down into it from up here on the old mining road. That goes way down there and then empties out onto the valley floor. And that's looking across the valley. So we'll keep heading down this, what's left of an old mining road. So continuing down, Pretty spectacular view from up here. Here's looking into that ravine again. This time I'm, I'm on the side of it. And that's where we just came from, up there. A lot, of, a lot of amazing geology there. Those rocks look like they're, they've been tipped up so they're vertical. This road was paved at one point. See the pavement here in front of me? Here's a stripe on this side and a, a stripe or a strip of pavement over there. So they, they uh, had paved this at one point. That didn't last very long. So here's an abandoned mine portal and behind me is the ore bin and trestle. Get a shot from the side here so you can see the whole bin. Kind of unusual in that they used a, uh, on the bottom there, they used a metal, looks like a flatbed from a pickup truck or something. And then they uh, used regular boards on top of that for the sides. Um, and it's got that metal framework. Looks like brackets. See them there? There's three of them four of them actually and there's the uh, trestle but anyway yeah this is one of the portals here you can see some ventilation tubing right here and uh, well, let's go in and check it out this is kind of interesting a bottle fragment just hanging there on a, on a wire loop yeah, so we'll keep going in here. Got some tumbleweeds. Some shelving. And, uh, yeah. 
that's kind of a nice shot there. The tunnel kind of veers off to the left. Um, it's got some nice illumination from coming from outside. Check that out. You can see in the floor the indentations where the cross ties were for the ore cart tracks. Like in many mines, those get removed and either recycled or used elsewhere or simply scrapped. Yeah, the uh, overhead here, what the miners would call the back or what we call the ceiling, is very fractured. Check that out right there. And uh, right up in there too. Everything's fractured, even the the walls, which they call the ribs. So there you got two mining terms. Back is the ceiling and the ribs are the sides. Yeah, a lot of fractures. Actually, the cross ties are still here. <laughs> the shadows made it look like they were missing. But the rails have been removed. That's really common. Here you see on the rib, on the side of the tunnel, a series of dots. Miners made those, I think, to keep track of the uh, loads of ore. So I'm assuming that's what that represents. Here we pick up the ore cart tracks. And uh, yeah, this is really, this is really fractured. I mean, look at that crack. And look how the side is starting to delaminate. See that? There's a gap right where my light is. This probably isn't the most stable line. Um, yeah, this is sketchy. Okay, approaching a timbered section right up here. Uh, remember, they only timbered in the areas that were really prone to collapse, so this pocket right here must have been extremely, extremely fractured. So they put all this timbering in to keep it from caving in, like it's doing on the sides. Yeah. That's what's above me, just a bunch of boulders being held up by the timbers. Wow, there's a big boulder right up ahead. And I don't know if you notice, my voice just kind of got muffled somewhat. Yeah, that's a big boulder. That must have came from right up in there. Approaching another timbered section. And the tracks make a turn to the left. And there's a branch off to the right. Well, let's take the tracks. And it looks like there's an ore chute here coming down from upper areas. Um, yeah, this is a, a big chute. And again, there's the the miners' dots for the loads of ore that came out of the chute. And like all ore chutes, it's clogged with, I'm assuming, is talc. I suppose we could go underneath this chute and see where it goes. Uh, let's see, oh gosh. Yep, it goes off to the right, at least. I think I'm feeling some airflow too all of a sudden. Um, 
unfortunately I left my knee pads outside uh, Wow Okay at this intersection underneath the ore chute to the left there's a ladder and I think that's a dead end uh, behind that ladder there's a retaining wall and I think it's just a, a backfilled drift and then to the right that might be a dead end too I haven't gone up there and checked that out I don't remember this so I gotta see what's up there okay the tunnel to the right I think that's a dead end and I think that tunnel back at the junction might wrap around and meet up right there where my light is so we'll check that out on the way out but Otherwise, that's just a dead end. I don't think that goes down vertically. I mean, it could be a vertical shaft there going down, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to get any closer than this. So, and I'm underneath this huge ore chute. Um. So turning around. Oh, there's a piece of uh, ore cart rail. Look at that. So turning around, there's the ladder to the left. Okay, there's the ladder to the left. We'll check that out in a minute. We just came from underneath this ore chute from that direction where the ore cart tracks are. And uh, I'm directly underneath this huge chute. You can see it here in front of me. It's heavily timbered and uh, this is directly above my head. Just a lot of heavy lumber. And I think that ladder goes up into a stope where if I can remember correctly, there was square set timbering, which is kind of rare. You don't see that very often in these abandoned mines. So let's go check that out. So just past the ladder, that tunnel is a dead end, just like on the other side. So there's some uh, some symmetry here. It looks like there's a ladder right there, kind of left there as storage. But um, yeah, this leads up into square set timbering. Check out this retaining wall behind this ladder. Um, those are some pretty, pretty thick boards, and you can see in between the cracks, the all the rock, waste rock that's being held back by this retaining wall. Some pretty good sized pieces, as well as a lot of small stuff, like right there. But anyway, so here's the ladder. Um, and that, my friends, is square set timbering this is really rare to find uh it's like a giant frame made out of squares the timbers you know you see them there and it's just used for support and a big stope like this and for those that don't know a stope is the large cavern like this one that remains after the miners remove a large body of ore so they put this square set timbering in as like a framework for support in the void. So I just climbed up that ladder and I'm standing on a platform in the square set timbering. Here's another ladder with some broken rungs unfortunately. It looks like a that big rock there came down and broke the lower rungs but and there's a ladder right above me. Uh, right there Going up at an angle to that platform in the square set timbering With this broken ladder, I, I can't get up To this next platform. I think we were able to uh, get up here when I was here the last time about six or eight years ago, but There's some cool stuff up there. Uh, let me zoom into some of that timbering looks like there's another shaft over there or something with uh, timbered sides kind of back there in the back um, I'm assuming that's what that is but yeah this this broken ladder kind of um, I suppose I could um, there's that spare ladder over there on top of the timbers see that I pointed that out earlier I suppose I could get that uh, and bring that over here and I don't think it's going to reach all the way up, but I could use it as the first ladder and then transition to this one if it doesn't make it all the way to the top. But do I really want to start 
grabbing timbers and stuff and ladders and making noise and vibrations in this fractured mine? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Okay, heading back to the junction, the exit is to the right where the ore cart tracks go. That's how we came in. The portal's up that way, but we did not take this branch here that kind of continues straight ahead and turns to the left. I almost thought, I almost thought that was a piece of dynamite, but it's, it's, it's part of a drill bit. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think this tunnel just wraps around here to that oh I know it doesn't even do that it just dead ends so yeah that's it it doesn't even it doesn't connect up to that other branch there underneath the ore chute like I thought it did so that's pretty much it for this one um, let's make our way back to the portal follow the ore cart tracks you can see daylight up there a little bit yeah th this mine is really dangerous all these fractured fractures and yeah this is this is a slow motion collapse constantly in progress I think check out that view the miners had as they walked out of their mine through this portico you're looking across the valley. That's a pretty cool view. And there's the whole thing. <laughs>